Happy New Year, everybody! It's I, Leo Hightower, and I am back up once again with the next episode of Let's Play Mavericks 3 Serious Revenge. Last episode, we continued our assault on Planet Maverick, and that one actually took a good while, but now we have two stages left that we can get into right here. First things first, though, I'm gonna <clears throat> go to the lab and uh, see if we can buy some stuff for the characters. As you can see, Doc Robot Mode is still locked, but we'll get to that eventually, hopefully. And also, I'm using my new headset and making sure there's no background noise or distractions to keep me from uh, enjoying this game, so let's see. I don't need energy tanks, or weapon tanks, or special tanks, or vaccine tanks, or for that matter, paralyzed tanks, and we got 10 reboots, so I don't think we need to get anything specific. We could buy a few power builds, but, well, let's just see what else we have in, in, on sale. <clears throat> well, we could buy two Helmet Mark IIs for Zero, Fefner, and Harpuya. They already got Body Mark IIs. But they need Hands Mark IIs. <clears throat> well, you know what? Let's do it. Three of each. And we're gonna quit those summits to them. Now the only thing they need are Boots Mark II and Hands Mark II and they'll be fine. What they really need though is special attacks and everything. But the problem with this game is, which I hate the most out of anything, is you can't go back to certain levels and grind, which really, really sucks. But oh well, <clears throat> so these three helmets. Mm. 1844, okay. Too bad we can't sell the original X Buster, but oh well. Anyway, we are going to continue on with our assault on Planet Maverick by going to this stage right here, so let's get started! Let's do it! And we have no idea who the boss is gonna be for this section. Oh well. And if the video seems to stutter by any chance and everything, I apologize. And it's a repeat of the Space Observatory, or Space Station. X! Hear... Me? Strange area. Virus... Reading. Hi? Careful. Ilya! Ilya! Damn, I lost the signal. Well, anyway, this area is pretty much just a repeat of the uh, Space Observatory that we face Stark Dizzy in, basically. And no doubt some of the enemies are gonna be pretty much the same. And I hate the background, really, to be truthful, because there were plenty more constellations in the original Dark Dizzy stage, and there were some pretty, pretty beautiful constellations that they showed in the original game. <clears throat> oh, I keep forgetting I gotta use the Enter key to go through this. We're just gonna use Ultimate X on these guys and just finish them off in one colossal blow. Well, I admit it, if I haven't said it before, Happy New Year to all my viewers and subscribers, and of course followers. 2015. Let's make it our year, basically. And I'm planning on finishing up this game in 2015 big time. Anyway, we gained a few experience points and medals, zero reached level 56, and that's it pretty much. <clears throat> and as I was saying before, I apologize if the video seems to flicker, stutter a little bit, or if it might freeze in a, uh, on occasion. That's because of the low memory space on the computer. We really need to empty out some of the music files and stuff we have in here. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right here. And I will see you guys at the uh, first boss. So, uh, excuse me. Give me a minute. I'll be right back as soon as we get to the first boss room. Ugh, sorry about that. Okay, now we've made it to the first boss door. And let me see. Uh... Well, we gained a couple more medals a while ago, and Fifner, Zero, and Harpuya leveled up a little bit, so that's not too bad. So let's keep going. Let's see who we're gonna face through this first boss door real quick. We step on through, and who are we gonna face this time? Warning! Warning! Here comes the obligatory capsule, and we're facing off against... Oh, 
I recognize that body anywhere. Slash Beast. Mega Man X4. Well, oh, this should be interesting. First things first, let's see. Is his weakness... Shark Hook? Hmm, does only a little bit of damage. Ooh. How about Bubble Crab? Uh, both moves do some pretty good damage, but not enough. Okay, what about... Fire Rage. That does a little damage, too. You know what? Ultimate X. We'll have Zero figure out the weakness. In Mega Man X4, I believe Slash Beast's weakness was Jet Stingray Stingray, uh... A move, whatever it was called, I can't remember what it was called, uh, but it did do some pretty good damage. Is Glow Laser the weakness? No, Glow Laser is not the weakness. Considering how much HP these things have, Ultimate X is pretty much a blessing, considering how much damage it takes off, because trust me, you'll probably be fighting this thing for over an hour, over 30 minutes, if you're not careful doing what I'm doing, pretty much. Okay, how about Thundershot? That does little damage, too. How about Dark Flash? No, Dark Flash is not the weakness. So I guess it was either, uh, what was it? Uh, T-Bolt, or Glow Laser, or Minecrab. And that does seem to do some pretty good damage, so I guess we'll go have Zero use Minecrab. Whatever damage works, you will go with it, basically. And we'll just have X use Ultimate X, since that's a lot easier. But hey, uh, how's my LP audience doing? I know it's been a while since I got back to this game, and I apologize, I, I apologize for that, you guys. I'm sorry. Ugh, college was really getting me down and everything. Not to mention the holidays were going on at that time, so I decided I'd get back to this LP at another time. And why not now, since I'm not doing any college work and everything like that, and I've taken a leap of absence. So yeah, there's that. But I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas, like I mentioned in my last uh, update video, which was the future for what uh, my YouTube channel holds and everything. And, uh, yeah. I hope everyone starts off the new year by fulfilling their resolutions, like what I'm trying to do basically, lose weight and everything like that. And one important thing I should have done a long time ago, maybe over seven years ago. So I hope that uh, you guys fulfill your new year's resolutions and everything. Okay, Fifner needs to heal. I see that right now. And there we go. Slash Beast is taken down. Well, that was worth the conversation. And with that, the enemies have been defeated. You gain 2,500 experience points, 1,000 medals, and that's it. Okay, fully healed. Let's continue on then. I'm probably not going to save Ape because I'm trying to test out my new headset and see if it'll work properly and everything. But we reached another, uh, the second half of this part, so you guys know what's going to happen next. I'll be right back as soon as I reach the next boss door. Okay, we're now back. Sorry about that little wait. 
we leveled up a little bit more, or while we were gone, and uh, we gained a few more medals too. I never want to go through this part ever again. Ugh. Anyway, let's take on the boss in this hysteria. And who shall we be fighting this time? Warning! Warning! Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Not Cyber Peacock! Oh god, I hate Cyber Peacock so much with a passion. And let's just get this battle over with. Cyber Peacock was a Maverick boss from Mega Man X4. He invaded cyberspace and wanted to destroy the whole network. Attacks with Cyber Lisa. Typical. Let's see. Would Flame Reach be his weakness? No, Flame Reach is not his weakness. What was his. Uh, I believe in Mega Man X4, his weakness was. Soul body. Ow. But we don't have anything like that. So let's see. Uh. Dark Flash? Yes, that does the trick. Dark Flash. God, I wish the music in this game looped better. I hate it. That's one of my... That's another gripe with this game I hate. The music doesn't loop so well. But oh well. Ow. Just have Tiffany and Harpuya keep doing what they're doing. Regular attacks, T-Bolt, Ground Blast. And have Zero use Dark Flash. And have X just use Ultimate X. And this battle should be over with... And two jiggles of a bunny rabbit's butt. <laughs> okay. Sorry if I don't say that much. I'm trying to concentrate on this boss battle, even though I know I'm probably going to win it. But trust me, if I didn't have ultimate X armor, this would be really, really tricky. I'm going to heal a bit here. I hate it when it misses. Damn it! Whatever. Okay. And there we go. Cyber Peacock is done. And our award is 250 experience points and 1,000 medals. Hardly worth the effort. And this barrier for Planet Maverick is down. There's only one barrier left. And I'm probably going to do it in the same video pretty much since there's only one uh, stage left. So yeah. But that pretty much does it for this stage. Mission accomplished. Wasn't so difficult. Full healed and teleport out. And we will begin this final stage of Planet Maverick, and that will open up the last stage, no doubt. So let's do it. And once again, we have no idea what the, boss, what the bosses are going to be for this stage. Just destroy the barriers and move on. Blah, blah, blah. Mad Rex's stage? 
Oh, good. Ilya, I need some information about this area. Hmm? No response. Alright, you guys know the drill. I'll be right back! Uh, I swear. I hate going- I hate going- I hated going through Mad Rex's stage, especially in Mega Man X5. What bosses await us in this stage, I have no idea, but I will be right back, you guys. Excuse me a minute! Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. While I was away, I grabbed a few cookies and some milk. But to be truthful, I hate poinsettia milk. Yuck. I don't know what it is, but the taste of poinsettia milk just makes me sick. I don't know what it is. So I grabbed some of the other milk out of the fridge. Anyway, what boss are we fighting this time? <sighs> Warning! Who's Warning. it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Stone Man from... What was it? Mega Man... Three? Maybe? Damn, I suck. How is it that I can play through the classic games so easily, yet for some reason I can't remember most of the robot masters from which they come from? Which he's from which they come from the classic games. God, I hate them. I suck so bad. Ugh. And for the love of me, I cannot remember Stone Man's weakness from the classic Mega Man games. God, I suck so bad. But that's okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, Thunderstock? No, not the weakness. Take a bad out of one of my cookies. Uh, I never use this one. Gathering sword? No. Okay. Um. Uh. uh <laughs> just kidding. Well, even if we don't figure out his weakness, it's not gonna matter, because I think he's almost dead. Uh, Blizzard Wave. No! Why did it take off that little damage? It only took off a thousand or so damage. It's supposed to take off well over two thousand. I don't know. God. Okay, how about Gemini Laser then? I don't know. That only did thirty damage. That only did six six six. God! Why is it the number six 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 will not leave me alone? I swear. Whether it's on DA or Alpha Omega Sins video, that number keeps popping up. Six, six, six! The mark of the beast! Ah, I hate that. He should be dead. Glow laser then. No! Frick crap! He's got a lot of HP! Dang! Okay... Okay, never mind, he's done. Well, that took a little bit longer than expected. Some man has a lot of- had a lot of HP. Hmm. get 250 experience points and 1,000 medals for our troubles. These bosses are not worth the experience points and medals that they give out. Ridiculous. Stupid, actually. 
Anyway, whatever. Heal up and move on. Okay, we reached the next save point. I'll be right back, you guys. You know the drill. Okay, we made it to the second boss door, so yeah. And uh, we leveled up a few times, so that's good. Anyway, let's step on through and take on this boss so we can end this uh, video. Now, who are we fighting for this final barrier, I wonder? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Magma Dragoon! Son of a gun! Magma Dragoon from Mega Man X4! I love fighting Magma Dragoon! He is basically a Street Fighter Fighter Maverick. Using Hadoukens, Shoryukens, even making it rain fire! Wow, he takes off a lot of damage, apparently, with that... Let's see... Will Laser? No. Will Laser is not the weakness. Um, if I remember correctly, uh... Dragoon's weakness in Mega Man X4 was Double Cyclone from Storm Owl, if I remember correctly. Damn it. There we go. Thank you, Zero, for having the energy cube. Only one person really needs an energy cube. I'm not gonna bother giving energy cube to everybody. There's no point in it all. Yeah, I think I'm glad I chose this one last, because if I probably started this one earlier on when I first started Planet Maverick's Assault, I probably would have gotten my head handed to me like on Earthbound. Ness, looks like you got your head handed to you. <laughs> Which I also downloaded on the Virtual Console on my Wii U not too long ago. And I'm hoping to get back to it sometime, uh... Maybe before I go to bed later on tonight. But, yeah. Okay, Gemini Laser. That only did 30 damage. That sucked. You know what? Let me experiment around and see. Okay, uh... Bubble Crab? That did a little bit of damage, but not too much. I guess it's better than nothing. Bubble Crab's weakness then. I mean, Bubble Crab. Mind Crab. to hear Mac Metricum's shout out to Paduken and Shoryuken. Come to think of it, if I remember correctly, he was also a boss for the test battle for practice mode. Or was it, yeah, it was train actually it was training mode in uh, Mega Man X5. When you got through the uh, training mode successfully with uh, one of the characters, you fought a simulation of uh, Mac Metricum basically. Which was pretty cool. What happened to Dragoon in Mega Man X4, but also sucks what he did back then in, in the game. How he destroyed the Sky Lagoon and made it fall, and how he really just wanted to fight X and Zero, and it was used by Sigma. Oop! Spoiler alert! Oh, that's it? Well, that didn't take long. Well, thanks to Ultimate X armor. Oh well. But that pretty much takes care of Mega Dragoon. And that does it for the Assault on Planet Maverick. The only thing left is to, well, head off to who knows where and try and stop Zero from becoming Omega. Definitely getting close.
Mission accomplished. Fully healed. And we are out of here. Hmm. There it is! Sea Tower! The barrier around it has completely disappeared. Then now is our chance! But there's still no radio contact seal. Almost got it. There you go. X! Come in, X! Elia? Is it really you? It's good to hear you, X. I'm glad you all made it. But more trouble is on the way. The barrier is gone, and now Sea Tower has appeared. Omega must be in there. You have to stop him. We're on our way. You also stay alert, Zero. I'm getting strange readings from that tower, and they're not from Omega. Then there's no other way to in than to enter that tower and find out. Let's go, everyone. Alrighty. With Planet Maverick finished, the only thing left is... The Z Tower. Omega Zero awaits us. And there are three other signals we have to take on. Hey, the image looks just like Wily Tower from Mega Man X. I mean, Mega Man Z Tower. Difficulty unknown, boss unknown. Enter this stage? No, we are not going to enter this stage just yet. But, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're finally getting ready to take on Omega Zero. Or better yet, Zero. I'm going to end the video right here. I will see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Maverick 3 Zero's Revenge. We are taking on the Z Tower on the next episode. With that, Leo is out. I will see you guys next time. Peace!